Twins hosting the Rangers, and the Rangers are plus 110 on the money line. The Twins are minus 130. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 190, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Twins laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 158, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Dunning pitched once against the Twins last year. Two and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game six to five. He struck out two batters in that game. They are 5-5 five and five as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging 6 innings pitched and 6 strikeouts per game in those games. They've lost his last 2 starts. They are 2-3 and three in his last 5 starts. He's got an ERA of 2.2, and he's averaging 6 innings pitched in his last 5. 3 earned runs, 4 strikeouts, 2 home runs, 99 pitches. 1 earned run, 12 strikeouts, 1 home run, 106 pitches. 3 earned runs, 6 strikeouts, 94 pitches. 1 earned run, 11 strikeouts, 1 home run, 102 pitches. Three earned runs, four strikeouts, one home run, 90 pitches. He is 0-3 in his last three appearances against the Twins, losing in 2022, 2021, and uh, two twice in 2021. The over is 2-1 and one in those games. Four earned runs, three earned runs, two earned runs, two strikeouts, five strikeouts. Five strikeouts, gave a home up a home run in his last two games against them, 66, 78, and 76 pitches in his last three games against the Twins. For the Rangers, Sonny Gray has pitched three uh, twice against the Rangers last year. Four and, and two-thirds, five runs, five earned. They lost that game six to five, and he didn't strike anyone out. Six innings, two runs, two earned. They lost that game two to one. He struck out six. They are three and seven as a team in his last 10. He's averaging six innings pitched and 6.3 strikeouts per game in those games. They are two and three in his last five uh, appearances as well. He's got an ERA of 2.2 as well. And he's averaging six and a third as well. So essentially, these are two pitchers who have like almost identical stat lines. The under is three and two in his last five starts. Four earned runs, seven strikeouts, 93 pitches. No earned runs, seven strikeouts, 80 pitches. Two earned runs, 10 strikeouts, 90 pitches. Two earned runs, eight strikeouts, one home run, 77 pitches. Three earned runs, five strikeouts, one home run, 80 pitches. He's one and two in his three appearances against the uh, Twins. That's his last three. Lost the last two. The over is two and one. Two earned runs, five earned runs, three earned runs, six strikeouts, no strikeouts, eight strikeouts. One home run, no home runs, two home runs, 69 pitches, 82 pitches, and 90 pitches. Head to head, the road team is six and four. These teams are five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been six one run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is six and four in their last 10, and the under eight and a half runs is six and four in their last 10. With Lopez on the mound today, I was not expecting a seven to five game, but it is what it is. They won 7-5, and in the three previous games to that, the Rangers won 4-3, 7-0, and 2-1. The Rangers are on a 2-2-4-6-7 game. They're, they're not, they are not playing very well in their last handful of games. And the Twins, I was really on this fen the fence today with this game, but the fact that Lopez was on the mound was the reason why I took the Twins. And I really, Sonny Gray has been like my kryptonite. So I'm going to lean with the road team here. I'm going to take the Rangers. I'm going to take the Rangers with the money line. I'm going to take the Rangers getting the runs. And I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.